Uh, hi guys. I know it's been a minute and actually 10 months since I've last uploaded on YouTube. It's definitely been the longest break I've had and I have to say I needed it. Uh, towards the end of my last video that I filmed, I felt, I don't know, the lack of creativity. I feel like I wasn't inspired. It was also right after the pandemic and I had gained weight as I was discussing that with you guys um, in the past videos and I think it was hard for me to kind of get in front of the camera. Let's just say a lot has changed in the last 10 months and I am really excited to actually start filming for you guys again and for today's video I thought why not just do a simple chit chat get ready with me. I have no makeup on and I thought you know let's talk let's update you guys on what's happened in the last 10 months. Won't be a tutorial but I'll have all the products I am using down below and yeah let's get started. <laughs> did go ahead and buy a new vlogging camera so this is the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I just took like 30 minutes to set all the settings up so if I messed up anything and this video comes out terribly, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so the last time I posted was last February. <laughs> and yeah, the beginning of 2022. And I guess I could just kind of update you guys month by month and let you know what's been happening. So at the beginning of last year, Morton and I really started to notice a difference in our confidence level. We honestly weren't taking as many pictures. I felt like I obviously wasn't on YouTube, so we thought this would be the year to go ahead and change our diet, um, start moving our body more. We had gained weight during COVID, and that really kind of affected our confidence. Um, I would say I gained probably about 20 to 25 pounds during um, the pandemic, and I really felt it when I saw uh, or when I put my clothes on or when I was taking pictures, hence why I wasn't on YouTube as much. So we kind of basically took the year to work on ourselves. Um, we went into a calorie deficit. We started working out four to five times a week, watching what we ate, and it made a big difference. Not gonna lie, the motivation at the beginning was a struggle. Morton is definitely way more dedicated and if he said he's gonna do something, he's going to do it. So I found myself relying on his consistency um, in times where I felt like I didn't wanna work out at night or in the morning or um, keep the kind of progress going. And obviously, when I started to see a difference is kind of what got me addicted to the whole process. And when I started to see changes in my body, I really felt like Basically, I needed to keep going. And it's not about the weight, honestly. It was just about the way I felt on a day-to-day -day basis in my clothes, how comfortable I am, and I just feel like I am mentally and physically happy. Also, to give you guys some background, during this time, I feel like TikTok was really taking off, and I felt like I needed to grow that platform as well now that I was a full-time content creator, and I needed to just make sure that I am a part of the TikTok community, because I genuinely loved it. I loved how quick it was to create content, how organic it felt. It didn't need to feel so curated or perfect. And so I grew my TikTok platform um, and I'll have it linked down below, but it's another channel for me to kind of express myself and share things with you guys. Um, and I really have fun with it. Another really exciting thing that was happening around that time is Morton and I had officially decided that we wanted to start planning our wedding celebration, vow renewal. A lot of you guys have asked me if we ever considered having one since we had um, a courthouse wedding. And I always said it was just a matter of time and kind of waiting for the perfect moment. And so back in 2022, we celebrated our four year wedding anniversary. And so in 2023, it'll be our five year an wedding anniversary, which is crazy to think about, but we thought it would be the perfect time um, to kind of get our families together and celebrate our wedding, our marriage, our union, and kind of reinstate our vows. We do intend to keep a lot of things between just family and friends, um, and we'll probably post a lot after the wedding, but I wanted to keep it private and intimate, um, and I will, I promise, share as much detail as I can. Um, just know I have already found a dress. I haven't worn a wedding dress, or I didn't for the um, courthouse celebration. I wore just like a white dress, but um, I did get to try on my first wedding dress, and it was 
amazing. I had my mom there with me. A lot of the planning has begun and I'm so excited. I feel like you guys um, have asked for it and obviously we were gonna do it. It was just a matter of time. So that's a very exciting update. <laughs> I also last year um, got to go to some new places. A very close friend of mine had invited me to her bachelorette party in Cabo. That was my first time there and we had an amazing time. It was like a huge group of girls who um, were all so sweet and so amazing um, and the whole trip was planned perfectly like the maid of honor literally planned it to the T and there wasn't a moment where we felt like we were exhausted or you know overwhelmed she planned it so well and I also got to go to St. Lucia with my friend and manager and we had a great time we went to kind of escape the cold weather and it was amazing because St. Lucia was beautiful, literally beautiful. I love this foundation from Armani. It's the Luminous Silk Foundation. It is literally the perfect match. Um, and I like to match my foundation to my body since my face tends to be a little bit on the lighter side. Honestly, in general for me, 2022 was a time for me to be with family, friends. Um, I really focused on my career on TikTok and Instagram and I really, really had fun with creating content. And so I actually went to LA to attend a shoot with Chalette. Um, my very good friend that I've known since elementary school um, is an amazing photographer, videographer, etc., extraordinaire. Um, he lives in LA and he had invited a bunch of creators to come and kind of have this amazing photo shoot out in, um, where was it? Out in Calabasas and I've actually never been over there. It was kind of set up where every 15 minutes you rotate between photographers or videographers and you get content. So much content throughout the day and it was an amazing trip. We had so much fun. So fast forward to the spring summertime. As I said, Morton and I were planning our vow renewal celebration and also we were approaching our anniversary for our four year wedding anniversary. And I found an amazing photographer who's based out of um, Jacksonville, Florida. Her name is Kaylee. I found her through Instagram. I'll have her information below. I fell in love with her photos and how she edited. And in general, she just really told stories and the pictures she was taking, like it was just breathtaking. And so I hit her up and we set up a time and date for Morton and I to go visit Jacksonville to get our photos taken um, on the beach. Morton and I went over to Jacksonville around June to go ahead and get our photos taken and we're getting ready. We are excited. We got all dressed up. Morton looked amazing, so handsome. And I found an awesome dress on House of CB that I really, really liked. And so we are all dressed up in the Uber on our way to take our photos and Morton immediately tells me to stop as we're getting out of the Uber and tells me to wait. He pulls out a blindfold, blindfolds me, and tells me to take his hand, and we're walking towards the beach. We stop, and he takes it off, and there's this massive, beautiful presentation, and um, there's a sign that says, will you marry me again? And to be honest, like for a whole year and a half, um, before that moment we were actually looking at rings that I really like my style we went to several different stores I tried things on and I let him know what I liked but never in a million years did I think that that would be the moment that he would be proposing to me so I was a hundred percent so so shocked I was literally shocked like I didn't expect this I saw Kaylee to the left she was in on it he had found a kind of a um, a lady that does engagements um, or proposals, surprise proposals, and he found her all through Instagram as well. Like, little sneaky spy Morton was able to set all of that up and I had no idea. So it was an amazing moment. And yes, he got me a new engagement ring, but also a new wedding band. Um, I am in love. I am shocked. I, he went well above what I asked for. That was kind of the exciting part of June, obviously. And so after that in July, Morton and I were finally able to head to back to Germany and Scotland to go visit his family that we hadn't had a chance to see since the whole pandemic. So that's like two plus two years, around two years. Um, so we made it a nice long trip. Uh, we visited family, we even went to Turkey and had a, an amazing time in between our trips. Also, I felt like last year was the year of me going to concerts and it's only just gotten better. <laughs> 
but I got to see Bad Bunny so unexpectedly, but we got amazing seats for a great, great price. And I also went to go see um, Leon Bridges. And um, at the end of the year, I got to see Burna Boy, which was the best concert of my life. Like I already saw him back in 2019, um, but obviously he's grown and we got to see him at the Capital One Arena, so way bigger space. And that man is just such a performer. And I pride myself that I'm always in his top 1% of listeners because I just love his music in general. I love his music. But back to my timeline. Um, so essentially we came back from Europe, our trip in July. And then after that, I got some very exciting news career-wise, something I never in my life thought I would ever have the opportunity to do. But blessings, I got it. And that was my very first collection with Amazon, The Drop. Um, like, still in shock that I got to do that, to be honest. And then I just got this new bronzer from Fenty, which is their Mocha Mami bronzer. I'm so excited to try this because I feel like it is a very beautiful color and I feel like it'll give a nice warmth to my face. I distinctively remember getting that email from my manager and the Amazon The Drop team and I was like, there's no way, this is a joke. I remember calling and I was like, is this for real? Like, do they really want to work with me? Like, me? And she was like, yes, this is so exciting. And so basically we had our kickoff call and I got to meet the team, all the um, people that I'd be working closely with during that time, um, basically from the beginning of choosing my style, um, kind of choosing the different pieces I wanted to include, the design the sketches, getting the samples, engaging with you guys and showing what you like best, what I've created and kind of teasing it until the drop of the collection. And in general, the whole team was so amazing to work with. I can show you some of the sketches and the pieces that were included in the collection somewhere here, but it's definitely one of my proudest moments. Definitely something that I can check off, um, off of my dream things to do in this career and who knows what's next. I'm not joking. For me, mascara is the worst part about doing my makeup. I just feel like it takes so long to get the desired look and then you get it on your skin. Let me know if you guys also think the same thing or if you have another part in your process that you actually hate doing. For me, it's mascara, and then my hair gets in it. This Rare Beauty blush is my favorite. It's the one in um, the shade Encourage. I feel like it gives me that soft pink. And obviously Christmas and Thanksgiving came and went, and we had a great time with family and friends. Um, we spent a lot of time with family, obviously during the holidays, and it was much needed to unwind. My birthday came, Morton's birthday came. I turned 28 and Morton turned 29, so closer to 30, but who cares? Um, we are healthy, alive, and breathing, so we are thankful. I'm going to add some Rare Beauty highlighter, and this one is in the shade Flaunt. Little definitely goes a long way for this one. I think I put too much. I'm just gonna blend it out. And also, in the month of December, we did take two trips. We went to Tulum. We wanted a break from the cold as well, and it was a nice little birthday getaway. And then when we came back from Tulum, we actually went to Madeira, Portugal for New Year's. They actually had the best fireworks I've ever seen in my life and they are ranked as one of the top places also for fireworks in the world. Um, and it was a great time. It's kind of like the Europe uh, or the Hawaii of Europe and lots of hiking, lots of things to do outside. Um, and you can get kind of like the country as well as the city life in Funchal and see a lot of things and in general we both love um, Portugal as a whole and so it was nice to see a different part of it and that's where Cristiano Ronaldo's from we didn't see him just a lot of statues of him and then we came back and reset it and now we're here Okay, this is the final look of the makeup that I have for today. It is my everyday makeup. I love this routine. All the products I use are my holy grails and really make me feel beautiful and pretty and alive. So that's that. I'll have all the products down below for you guys to check it out. Also, it's a new year. It's going to be a new me and YouTube is very important to me. So I'm excited to chit chat with you guys, get the consistency flowing and always have new videos for you. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is a new and improved Carmela. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.